to all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles and onions and all on the sesame seed bun. What are we making? It might We're making a Big Mac. We fancy the Big Mac. Big Macs got a lot of bad press but they're actually quite a nutritious meal but we're not too sure about preservatives and stuff like that. We don't know about preservatives, do we? No. So we're going to make our own one and we're going to try and replicate an actual Big Mac. So we've got the ingredients, let me show you them. So we've got two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, oh wrong way around, lettuce, cheese, pickles and onion and all on a sesame seed bun. Now that's the classic ingredients of a Big Mac. So depending on how you put it together and depending on quantities and stuff like that, I'm gonna try and put the right amount in what they look like when you actually open a Big Mac up. So I'm not gonna go overkill and put loads of stuff on. I'm gonna try and replicate the thin burgers, what they put in there, and the special sauce, which we haven't got, but we can improvise that. I'll show you what I'm gonna to do to improvise that. And Bottom line is, is that we're going to try and recreate a Big Mac. So, first things first, we look at our feet. So, do you want to get a bowl, Sharon? You could look like you want to cook. We are cooking together, we're a team. Right, now, before we go any further, this is basically standard mince. Uh, it's got 20% fat in it. I think they are 100% fat, the uh, ones that you use in McDonald's. I'm not too sure. 100% fat? 100% beef. Um, but what we're going to do, is we're going to put that onto our cutting board first of all and we want to chop that a little bit finer than what it is that's just standard mince and when you look at a, a McDonald's burger when you actually break them open the mince is quite fine it's not ground work well, it might be ground beef but it's not totally ground so we're going to take this and we're just going to cut this up a little bit finer and the way we're going to do that is literally just run a knife through it in the op opposite direction to what it's normally cut in and this just makes sure that the beef is in smaller bits. As I say, we're, we're trying, by doing this, we're just trying to replicate the actual texture of a McDonald's burger without a processor, because not everyone's got a food processor. If you've got a food processor, I'm sure you could put it in there. So that's what we've basically done there. So I'll do the, I'll do the, I'll do the preparation part of the, the actual fear of the burger. You and you can do the donkey work. Yeah. <laughs> Right, okay, so we're going to pop that basically into a bowl. Now all we're going to add to that is a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. So Sharon can do that. I'm just going to wash our board while Sharon's just mixing that with a bit of salt and pepper. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to prepare the onion. And the way I'm going to do that is basically just to cut it in half. It's been skinned. And I'm going to cut it across ways because what we're wanting is small dices of onion. So I'm cutting it that way. I'm cutting it lengthways as well. And then I'm going to start chopping down that way. So what we want to end up with basically is little little shards of onion. And that's exactly what I've got there. You don't want it to be too big. As I say, when you've got them in the McDonald's burgers, you really don't really see the onions. So as long as you get a small texture, we're all right. That's what we're looking for. So, right, so that's how we prepare the onion. So we just put that to one side. And as you can see, it's these sort of textures that make the McDonald's burger different than any other burger that you and I normally make. Because we normally just slice the onion or we cook the onion. And it's not as a Big Mac is. Right, so let's get rid of that little bit. Put that to one side. Right, the next thing we're gonna do is shred the lettuce. Now again, you need to have this finely shredded. You don't ever see large sheets of lettuce in, in your burger. And for our few burgers that we're gonna prepare, that'll probably be enough. So again, I suppose if you've uh, ever eaten a Big Mac, you know there's never really a lot of lettuce in there. And whatever is in there is cut up small again, so. This is what we're doing here, we're replicating that. See, by doing it all separately like this, you're doing the preparation work first, 
And when it comes to build the berm, you're literally doing what they do in the restaurant, which is pick a bit up, put it on, pick that up, put it on, pick it, put it on. We've got our pickles, which is basically just a, what are they called? Gherkin. Gherkin, and we just cut that again, sliced it thin. So as you can probably see there, that's just a thin sheet of gherkin. What most people normally take out of the burger. Yeah. Including you, dear, don't Disgusting. you? So, so far, we've got two all beef patties, which we haven't made yet. We've got the special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles and onions, all on a sesame seed bun. So, that's done. Now, we're now going to make the special sauce. Now, again, it is a special sauce, but we're going to make our own cheap version of it. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a basic tartar sauce and this ingredient has got all the different elements in which you probably would want to make with the normal burger sauce so we're going to just put a good little pin of tartar sauce in a little bowl we're going to add a pinch of paprika one more 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 just back them out and we're going to put some in, uh, yellow mustard in as well. Again, we don't want to go too mad with this. Just a bit of background. And I'm going to put that amount in there. I don't know what it is. So we'll put that in there. And my lovely assistant will give that a stir up. And what we're also going to drop in there is a few of these onions. Ready? There we go. Don't go too mad. Get that in there. And that is our special sauce. We've got our processed cheese and we've got our buns. Now with our buns, again, got to be sesame seed. You've got to try and cut this three ways. I've already done a couple here, as you can probably see there. I've actually cut them in three ways. Make sure you've got a good sharp knife to go across them and it can be done. So I've done all them ones in there. Best if you can get these burger buns that are the American style. They're a lot rounder and a lot firmer as well. So I'm just going to triple cut that and as you can see that cut pretty easy. It's all we've got at our local shop but it's going to do the job so that's our sesame seed bun. Right now let's move this to one side now. The thing is with the patties what we've got to do is we've got to try and replicate that thin burger and the way I thought about doing that was laying a piece of greaseproof paper down on the paper on the, on the table getting a uh, hand of beef, so to speak, roll a ball, again don't know what the size is, they're not normally, they, I think they're under a quarter pound actually, I mean you could weigh them out actually, have you got your scales there Sharon? Okay. Just come, on, come in and say hello, come in and say hello, look, Tracy's just turned up with Emily, she feels like McDonald's she says, how about that, what's Emily, does Emily want a burger? Would you like a burger for granddad? Is that a burger? Is that a ball? Yes! Tracy, would you like a Big Mac? I'd love one. Could you know the ingredients of a Big Mac? Um, I think it's lettuce. No, start from the oh, beginning. There's a, there's a rhyme, isn't it? I don't know. To all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles and onions and all on the sesame seed bun. How about that? <laughs> Where'd you learn that from? McDonald's. Ronald used McDonald's. Used to be their advert. Used it. to be their advert. Back mm. in the 70s, if I remember rightly, I think they was doing a promotion once where if you went in and said that as fast as you can, you'd get a free burger. I never did do it because I never had the front to go up to the bar and say, to all your packed special sauce, that's because you can't even say it. Oh, really good job, you didn't do that. <laughs> <great>. <laughs> <laughs> and, all said, and if you said it right once, first off, this was back in the 70s in the UK, by the way, they would give you a free Big Mac. That was a promotion they were doing way back then. Right, anyway, that's another story. So we've got, we're going to weigh this out. Sharon wants to weigh it out. She wants to be a bit more fresh. Now, just turn this on, Sharon. Come around here. Come around here. You're, you're out of the frame. Come around here. I can't turn the scales on. Yes. Oh, it's not, it's not. Scales are not fish out. Yeah. Scales. Scales, yeah, okay, baby. So, what, we've got four ounces, yeah? What's that? That's 1.9 ounces. 3.6. Four ounces, right, there we go, that's one burger. I don't think the quarter pounders or the, the, um, the McDonald's burgers are actually quarter pounders. I think they're smaller. Probably not. Perhaps when you ask for a quarter pound, you get a quarter pound. No, that's with a quarter pound of a cheese, Sean. We're doing a Big Mac. Yeah, we? well, that's not a quarter pounder then, is it? No, it's just under it's a, a quarter pound. Burger. There you go. We're going to have a guess. We're hoping for a bit of shrinkage. Right. So what I'm going to do, put that in the middle, fold it over, 
flaying it out. Do you want me to sit on it? I ain't finished it yet. Look, watch this. Watch this. This is what no one knows. No, look at this. Look. Look underneath, underneath now you've got to get it thin, don't forget. And I'm doing this for a reason because we're going to thin it out. What now? And the great thing about this is you can have a look. Look at that. Look. Now that looks about the thickness to me. <laughs> and what I've got is the cutter. Cutter. You haven't got one the right size, Sharon. I've already been through this. Oh, from my I've done a bit of research. You said that's not big enough. That's too small. Too yeah. small. Yeah, too small. Too small. So there I'm you go. That roll. Watch this. Hey. Perfect. It might have done actually. Yes, yeah, you right. We'll try that with the next one actually. All right. But I'm just improvising. You might not have a cut. You've got to make do. You've got to make do with it. Look at the camera. Hey. I'm right. I've got to be on the yeah, you're right, Sharon. Right. Watch Back this. In. Watch this. Look. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, it's lovely and round. Look, it's got the spout oh, on Yeah, we haven't finished yet. <laughs> Pastry cutter. What's it called? Pizza. Pizza. Pizza cutter. Just chop the round bit off. Look. You could have just got that and went. Well, yeah. I could have done, yeah, but I'm no, like, again. Try that. Yeah, we're, you we're freestyling. <laughs> we're freestyling. What? Watch, watch this. Wash up, watch it. it. Look. Look. That's what we're looking for. That sort of consistency. Now, I'm going to put that to one side, like that. Look, over it. And we'll do it again. Using the cutter, right? She wants to go. She wants to prove that she was right. Right, come on in. There, quarter pounder. Right. Watch this. It's not not settled. Yeah, I know. Disturbed it. There you go. There you go. Let's see oh, again. Let him do it. Zero, you mean? 0.2, point two. We're halfway there. Four point five. That doesn't matter. That's because we're going to rim it. What was it? <laughs> We're going to rim it. <laughs> right, so we put that in the middle. Okay, fold it over. Eh? Don't worry about the gherkin, Sharon. Roll it out. Now, I want to show you that anyone can do this. Go on in, off you go. Sharon, I want to, I want to show you that everyone can do this. Concentrate on what you're doing. You're coming in from a beginner's angle. Yeah? No, someone, don't forget the fitness. You're going to get the fitness. I've got the fitness. Right, okay, okay, right, well, fair enough. Yeah. Now, watch you, watch you use that, look. Twist it, don't get twisted. Oh. Rip it off from the side. Listen to Paul Hollywood. Hey? It all it matters. Cooking every night, you? Oh, that's lovely, come here. Who's going to win the burger bake off? Right, what? okay, here Mommy. we go. Hold on, I'll show people. See what they think. The one in France. That's Sharon's one. You're not cheating, are you? No, and that's my one. Yeah. What one's a better one? Messy, oh, Messy. Yeah, look, I think it's her one, actually, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right, now, so we've got that. We're going to put that to one side because we're only interested. Should I continue cutting some? No, we're going to make one burger at the moment. We're gonna, I'm going to show you. Head. I'm going to show you that it works. So we put all this to one side. Why I've just told you why. <coughs> we're, we're doing one burger for everybody. We're showing them. A burger for everyone to share? No. <laughs> we're going to. It's funny, all of mine. No, I'm not putting it one. Put it over here. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm, going to they, I'm putting it to the side. You're going to McDonald's. Get some Big Mac. Get some Big Mac. <laughs> Right, let's, we're going to wash our hands with you and we'll be back. Yeah, I think she's come up with a better idea there. I didn't, I didn't realise she had them cookie cutters. We'll let her have that one. She's got to wash her hands at the moment. Right. You said you looked up here. No, I didn't look, I didn't look that you hard. You didn't look, did you? I, did, I didn't look that hard. You looked like that for a jug. <laughs> right, so we've got... Let's run through it again. We've got two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles and onions, and all on a sesame seed bun. Let's get over to the cooker and start to cook our burgers. You're going to put a little drop of oil in, yeah? Just to lubricate things, get things going. That'll do. Warm that pan up, baby. Right, okay, Cher. Let's, let's make this happen, go on. Mind the shape. Right, I would like to have heard a sizzle there. You probably ain't got the gas eye enough, have you? Mm. That's better. Let's get some cooking going on. Flip it, flip it. Oh, that looks like a McDonald's burger. I've always wanted to jump in McDonald's. Yeah, bring that one down the middle. Look, you're not watching yourself. Quality control. Everything's got to be the same. You want to try McDonald's, that? Eh? Right, we're going to drain these. That's only because they're, um, fat. it's not 100% ground beef. It's 100% so fat in the beginning. Yeah, so there's a 20% fat in there, which we're just going to drain off because we don't really want to have that in there. So right, what we're gonna do now is assemble the burger. Right, here we go. 
Now, what the way I think you've got it, if I remember rightly, you've got the bottom bun, which is there. I'm going to put that down there. We're going to put a bit of our special sauce on there. It normally comes out the side a little bit, if I remember rightly. Okay, there we go. So there's our sauce. Then we have a, a little sprinkle, <coughs> only a little bit, of lettuce. Not a lot at all. Never really is a lot. Right, so there's our lettuce. We're then going to put a little bit of onions on. Watch this. There you go, not too many. I see that. Yeah. Now, what we do is the plastic cheese. It's got to be the plastic cheese. You, you don't mind when you're eating it, Sharon. Not what we'd normally have, I know. But the plastic cheese then goes on, and then we place our burger. So it's still got the wrapper on it. <laughs> okay, say. now that's looking like a McDonald's to me. We then put the upper bun on, like that. And we put our special sauce on again, like that. And then we go with the lettuce again. Shut up, Sharon, don't laugh. One day you might need this, if you ever work in McDonald's, you can say, yes, I can build a Big Mac. Do I look for filling this up? I need about five hours. <laughs> and now the bit which Sharon hates, but you've got to put them in, even if she takes them out, is the pickles. And if I remember rightly, there's always three in there. There's sort of two at an angle and one there. Put the second burger on, like that. Put the lid on. Cheese, no cheese, cheese. Not in the top one, believe it or not. You've never really looked, have you? Oh, I'm not happy with that. And let's just walk you around it. There is our Big Mac made from home. I'll tell you what, that's not that big. It's a small Mac show, isn't it? Well, I don't know, it's bigger than a Big Mac. Hey? We'll film you having a bite in your arm. Yeah, like that. <laughs> if I enjoy it, you'll get that. If I don't enjoy it, it'll just be a mouthful. Right. <laughs> This is the moment of truth. I love the way the cheese is hanging out like you normally get it. Here we go. from just a, a general um, supermarket. supermarket get the proper American burger buns and you will have that sauce that sauce is first time I've ever done this I just come up with the idea I've seen people on Eva or YouTube make it with certain ingredients and all that just get the old tartar sauce mm. well I'm gonna go and make the burger so I can have something to eat Right. It's not all about you. I've shown you how to do it. And the people. Give it a go. Once you've prepared it, all your ingredients, there's not a lot of them really. And the art is cutting that mince up fine, like that, as I said to you. Do it the way I suggested. And the burgers are, are perfect because you have to have them that thin for everything to work. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Do give it a go. 
I'm sure with the American buns you would actually replicate it perfectly. I'm going to go and sit down and watch Teddy now. While Sharon feeds the family. Love. Oh, dirty hands, I'm not going to rub them. See you later. Don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe. That is our take on the Big Mac. Thanks very much. See you later.